Welcome back to Virtual Children's Chapel. Today is the second Sunday in the Easter season. Easter, the Easter season, lasts for 50 days until the day of Pentecost. So we're going to be celebrating Easter for the next couple weeks. All right, Alleluia, Christ is risen. We are going to light our candle. And you can say it with me. Why do we light the candle? To remind us that God is with us. There we go. All right. Now, next we are going to ring the singing bowl, and then we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer together. And so when we pray, we can hold our hands like this, or like this, or maybe like this, whatever's comfortable for you. So I'm going to ring the singing bowl. We're going to listen with our ears, and when we can't, and we're going to hold up our hand. And when we can't hear it anymore, we're going to put our hand down into our praying position, and then we are going to say the Lord's Prayer together. So here we go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, next we're going to do our ritual of water. So you will need a bowl and a towel and a couple cup of water. Um, we are going to pour the water into the bowl to remind us of our baptism and to remind us also of the story that we read last Thursday where Jesus washed the disciples' feet. Both stories are about love. And so at our baptism, we're reminded that God loves us and on Holy Thursday, when Jesus washed his disciples' feet, he reminded them to love one another. So I want you to touch the water with your hand and say, God loves me. And then remember to make a blessing on you or maybe on someone else who's near you. You can do a blessing like this as well. Um, it doesn't matter. And then you can wipe your hands off with the towel. Okay, next, I have a really special clip for you. Miss Catherine, who leads our children's choir, um, has a special song for you. And it's super easy. It has one word, and I bet you'll never guess what that word could possibly be in the Easter season. But here you go. You're going to find out. Here's Miss Catherine. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. word of the season we are gonna read our story and our story is about Jesus appearing to his disciples and it, with one in particular having some different thoughts about whether or not he can believe that Jesus is back so here's our story Thomas and Jesus the Bible has 66 different books inside of it four of the books tell us about Jesus's life they are called the Gospels. This story can be found in John's Gospel. It is evening on the same day that Jesus appeared to two of the disciples at Emmaus. This is the same day that Mary found the empty tomb. All of the disciples are gathered together. The door is locked because they are afraid. Why might the disciples be afraid? Jesus appears and stands with them. Peace be with you, he says. The disciples rejoice. 
Jesus is with them again. He shows them his hands where the nails had gone through when he was hung on the cross. Jesus says again, peace be with you. As my father has sent me, so I am sending you. When he says this, he breathes on them. Receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be with you in the days to come. This is Thomas. He is one of Jesus' disciples. He was not with the others when Jesus appeared to them. When the others see him, they tell him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas says, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, I cannot believe. One week later, all the disciples are gathered behind locked doors again. This time, Thomas is with them. Jesus comes to them again and stands in the room. Peace be with you, he says. Then Jesus turns to Thomas and says, Do you see my hands? Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas replies, my Lord and my God. Jesus tells them, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who do not see but still believe. Jesus does many other amazing things with his disciples. These stories are told so that you may believe that Jesus is the Son of God. So in the Easter season, we are hearing lots of stories about Jesus, the risen Jesus, appearing to his disciples and preparing them for a time when he's not going to be with them anymore. And so he's showing them that they're able to believe even though they won't be, he won't be directly with them. And so that's just like us. I mean, we can feel Jesus. We, we experience the way that God is with us, but we don't always necessarily see God. And so... But we believe, we know and we feel and in our hearts we know that God is there. And so it's just like that. We don't, we don't need to see, we just know and we feel it in our hearts. So I want you to think of some of those moments when you might recognize God with you and think about the times and notice those times when God is with you or maybe appears unexpectedly, maybe you think about it later um, in the day or in the week and you're like, oh yeah, I think God was with me. So think about those times. Um, and we're going to hear lots more stories over the next couple weeks about Jesus appearing to his disciples in different ways. All right, so I think that is all for chapel today. It has been great to spend a little time with you this Sunday morning. We are going to blow out the candle and then we'll be done. So Bye guys, see you next week.